Two of the experiments that I'm performing during my mission on board the International Space Station involves the use of a virtual reality headset. The first experiment is concerned with mental health or psychological well-being. We astronauts on board the space station are living in a very confined, artificial, laboratory-like environment. It's very sterile, it's very cold, and we don't have access to nature. And that affects our psychological well-being. Personally, I really miss being able to step outside, to feel the breeze, to feel the wind, to feel the warmth of the sun, to smell the leaves, the grass, and the flowers. And even though the virtual reality headset doesn't let me do that, I still get a feeling of being in nature when I wear it. I have five different uh, videos on this headset from various scenes uh, in nature, including a sunset, a day at the beach, a mountain path, and a summer's day next to a river. And when I put on the virtual reality headset, I can hear the wind rustling through the leaves, I hear the birds singing. I can almost feel the warmth of the sun. And I have to be honest, I didn't actually expect it would make much of a difference, but I found that I love wearing this headset. It takes me into nature. It makes me feel like I'm out in nature, that I'm outside of the space station, away from this artificial environment. And it really, it de-stresses me. It makes me relax. It takes away a lot of the daily stress um, and just allows me to re-energize, just to, to kind of relax, uh, you know, to catch my breath, to feel like I'm, I'm back on the earth. Um, it's, it's a really great way to get away from this artificial environment on board the space station. Uh, you know, for, for long duration missions, it makes a huge uh, difference. The second experiment uh, that involves the use of this virtual reality headset is um, an experiment that combines the headset with the bicycle or stationary bicycle on board the space station, uh, what we call SEVIS. And this is another terrific experiment uh, because when I combine the headset with our bicycle, it allows me to cycle different routes in Denmark. Uh, and it's actually one of my favorite things to do on board the space station now. I have five different routes uh, from Denmark on this headset, including a mountain bike path through the woods, a route along the beach, one in the countryside, and one through Copenhagen, and one through uh, another large city called Olsen in Denmark. And what's even better is that the routes in this headset um, are integrated into the loading mechanism on this bicycle. And so when I'm, for example, cycling through uh, the forest on a mountain bike path, the loads that I'm feeling while exercising matches what I see. So when I'm going uphill, the loads uh, are increased. And when I go downhill, the loads are decreased. And that way, I actually feel like I'm uh, bicycling through the woods on a mountain bike path. Um, and it's really great. It's so motivating. And at the same time, I feel like I'm out in nature, uh, enjoying a nice uh, bike route uh, through the woods or along the beach. And it's actually become one of my favorite things to do on board the space station is to cycle while wearing the virtual reality headset. Now, one of the challenges of using the virtual reality headset in space is that the headset doesn't know where the horizon is. It can't sense gravity. Uh, but that's been solved using uh, one of the controllers, which serves as an anchor point. And by me tilting it, pivoting it, uh, adjusting its position, I can tell the headset where the horizon is. And that lets me uh, cycle in a natural way. and also lets me uh, just use the headset in a, in a very natural way uh, so that it doesn't get affected by this lack of gravity on board the space station. Two of my favorite experiments that allow me to relax and that allow me to feel like I'm back on the earth in nature. 